Good day everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Feature Eyes TV! talking about the basic kitchen equipment and utensils that we have to have in our own kitchens. But before that, let's differentiate first. What's kitchen equipment? What's kitchen utensils? Now, let's talk about the first one. Kitchen equipment require the use of electricity or power to operate in the kitchen. Examples of this are refrigerator, electric stove, electric mixer, and all the rest that require electricity to operate. Now, when you talk about kitchen utensils, these are the tiny handheld kitchen tools that do not require the use of power and electricity. For example, we have here wire whisk, we have knives, we have can opener, and all the rest. That's the difference between the two. For every kitchen to be functional, it should at least contain the most basic kitchen equipment and utensils that we need for cooking. So what are these that I'm talking about? Let's start with the two bigger kitchen equipment that we should have and that are important. Number one, we have the refrigerator. Well, I guess everybody knows what a refrigerator is. We know how important that is because a refrigerator is used to store and cool and freeze perishable food items like meat, fish, chicken, and all the other ingredients and food items that we have. It also has its vegetable compartment or crisper for vegetables. It has egg wraps, definitely for eggs. It has the chiller. It has the refrigerator rack that is also meant to store all the other food leftovers or food items that we have prepared. What is that? It's a refrigerator. We go to number two. What's that bigger equipment that we need? We need the range or the stove. Well, it can be a range that contains the stovetop burner and the oven. The stovetop burner is used to provide heat for cooking. So it can help us to fry and boil and steam and do all the other methods of cooking that we need to do. While the oven is used to bake food products like cakes and cookies and muffins, baked macaroni, lasagna, all those that require baking. These two are actually the most important uh, equipment that we should have in the kitchen. Now let's go to the other kitchen equipment and utensils that are important in the kitchen. And with all the several kitchen utensils and equipment, I want to let you know that they are actually classified into three categories. What are they? We have cutting, preparing and mixing, and then cooking. Now, let's talk about the first category that is the cutting utensils. First on our list is knife. As you all know, knife is used to cut, slice, mince, chop all the ingredients before they are cooked. We have the different classifications of knife as well. We have the paring knife, butcher's knife, chef's knife, bread knife, and all the other kinds of it depending on its function. That's number one. Another example is peeler. A peeler is used to remove the outer skin or covering of a fruit or any ingredient like potato or carrot. It is easier to use because it has a handle that will help us to prevent injury, especially for young people who are afraid of using the knives. Peeler. Then we also have kitchen scissors. Kitchen scissors are used to trim uh, stalks of vegetables or maybe cut soft meat and chicken. Another that we have for cutting utensils would be chopping board. It may not have the blade, but the chopping board is where we place our ingredients as we prepare, cut, slice, or mince them so that the, the sink or the table will be prevented from any damage as we prepare our ingredients. Then we have an egg slicer. What is this? An egg slicer is a utensil that is used to cut hard-boiled eggs evenly into flat and thin pieces. This may be used for recipes like salads, or arus ala kobana, or maybe palabok, or any other recipes that would require these thin slices of hard-boiled eggs. That's egg slicer. Then we have another one, grater. 
the grater comes in different sizes and shapes sometimes. And these are used, or this is used to shred ingredients into finer pieces. Examples of these ingredients that are commonly grated, grated are cheese and chocolates. Then we have fruit scraper. A fruit scraper is another utensil that is used to shred the meats of buko or avocado or melon and any other fruit that is used for dessert. That's a fruit scraper. Next in the list, we also have food processor. The food processor is used to puree, to mince, to chop, to cut, to grate several ingredients that we use for cooking. The food processor may actually come in a mechanical or in a manual form. When I say mechanical, that's powered by electricity. While when I say manual, then that's a food processor that is manually used but still provides ease for us in preparing our ingredients. Then we have can opener and bottle opener. What are this? Well, basically, we use this to open can lids or bottle caps. Can opener and bottle opener. Then we have sharpening stone. Well, a sharpening stone is used to sharpen knives. It doesn't have blade, but it sharpens the blade of the knife that we have in the kitchen. We go to the next category, preparing and mixing utensils. First on the list is mixing bowl. The mixing bowl is used to combine all the ingredients together when we are preparing them before cooking. It is also used to marinate ingredients or food items like meat or chicken or fish before they are maybe baked or grilled. Mixing bowl. Then we have wire whisk or just say whisk. A whisk is used to beat ingredients together. It may be by beating scrambled eggs or may be used for baking as well. We have wire whisk. Next we have rotary egg beater. What is that? A rotary egg beater manually beats the eggs with other ingredients together like when we are preparing vegetable plan or maybe when we are baking. Rotary egg beater. Then we have the next one, electric mixer. It is used to combine or mix several ingredients together, specifically when baking. It may come in two forms. It can be a handheld electric mixer or a stand mixer. It can be a replacement for rotary egg bitter because it is easier to use since it's mechanically or powered by electricity. What is that? It's an electric mixer. We have the next one, blender. The blender is used to puree ingredients using its sharp blades. Basically, we use this when we prepare shakes or smoothies, or sometimes it can also be used when we prepare soups like pumpkin soup or broccoli soup. Then we also have mortar and pestle. What is this? A mortar and pestle is used to grind or pound ingredients like ground pepper or maybe garlic or ginger or maybe nuts as required by our recipes. That's mortar and pestle. Then we have another one, colander. A colander is used to drain liquid from solid ingredients like maybe fruit cocktails or any other canned uh, food or ingredients that have liquid. It is also used to wash leafy vegetables and to blanch vegetables as well and to drain pasta after boiling it. Colander. Then we have strainer. A strainer similar to colander can also drain liquid ingredients from solid ingredients. Aside from that, it is also used to sift powdered ingredients like flour and sugar when we are baking. And now, we are down to the last category that's cooking utensils. First on our list is casserole. A casserole is a cooking pot where big amounts of food with liquid are cooked. For example, we have sinigang, bolalo, nilaga. All this can be cooked using a casserole. Then we have a saucepan. A saucepan is a small pot with a long handle that is used to cook sauces or small amounts of food with liquid. Next, we have a skillet. A skillet is usually a round flat 
frying pan that is used for pan frying. It is also used for preparing or cooking crepes or pancakes. When you talk about skillet, there are actually two kinds of this. It may be a non-stick skillet or an iron cast skillet. Then we have karahai or wok. When you say karahai or wok, it's a kind of frying pan that is used for stir frying or maybe for deep frying or for stewing. Basically, for Chinese cooking, they use this when they stir fry their vegetables, wok or karahai. Then we have steamer. It is used to cook food that requires the steam of boiling water. Examples of food that are cooked using steamer are embutido, leche flan, puto, shomai, shopao, and all the other kinds of recipes that require steaming process. That's a steamer. Then we also have wooden spoon. Wooden spoon is used for actually stirring ingredients or mixing ingredients, but it can also be used for cooking as we saute uh, ingredients in a non-stick pan or a non-stick wok. That's a wooden spoon. Then we have food turners. Food turners may come in aluminum food turners or non-stick food turners. These are used to flip the food over when we are frying. And then we have ladle. A ladle is a mixing spoon with a cup-shaped bowl that is used to serve or to cook food that has liquid. Next, we have tongs. Tongs are used to flip the food over or turn the food over when we are pan frying, deep frying, baking, or maybe broiling or grilling. Then we have the slotted perforated spoon. It's a big mixing spoon that has holes that is used to separate solid from liquid. It may be used when we are deep frying small food items like squid balls or fish balls or cake yams and all the other small food items that we fry. What is that? That's a slotted perforated spoon. Another on the list is an electric griller. It's an indoor griller that is operated by electricity in order to broil or grill food items like chicken or fish or meat. Electric griller. And that's it! All these are just some of the basic equipment and utensils that we need in our own kitchens to make cooking fun and exciting. I know that you still have more of this kitchen equipment at home. Like maybe you have your own air fryer and pressure cooker, or maybe you have your own microwave oven or oven toaster. But whatever that is, it is essential that we have all this basic equipment and utensils in our kitchen. I hope that you learned a lot from the video that I shared with you today. So please like and share this video to everyone that you know. And if you have not yet subscribed in my YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos and updates. Once again, this is me, Stakle, for Teacher Eyes TV. I'll see you again in our next videos. Thank you for watching.